Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect Shopify to Wix website. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do you connect Shopify to your Wix website here? So in this case, let's go ahead and first open up our Wix website and our Shopify website here. Now, in this case, the unfortunate thing about Wix and Shopify here is you do not have the direct uh, option or in this case, the settings to actually connect these two platforms, which is something really unfortunate. So if you're going to search for settings here for either Wix or Shopify, you do not have the option to basically connect. But the great thing about out there is you can actually use third party tools here to connect your two accounts. So in this case, we want to use Zapier here. So Zapier allows you to automate and basically create connections or even uh, automate a few things for your business. Now, the great thing about Zapier here is you can actually create a free account here and basically uh, use their platform for free. So in this case, since I already have my Zapier account here, we want to go ahead and basically start um, using the platform itself. But if you haven't created yours, you can just basically go to zapier.com, create your account. Usually you have the sign up button at the top right. And from then on, you should be able to see the same UI that I have right now. So there might be some questions, but answer that and same thing. You'll have this UI here. So at the top left, we want to go ahead and click on create. And from here, let's go ahead and click on a zap here. Now, in this case, there are going to be some uh, foundations that you need to know here. So in this case, uh, we need to select a trigger and an action. So from the name itself, triggers are going to be the trigger of the whole process. An action is going to be the action that the specific automation or zap that you've just created will perform. So in this case, for example, maybe we want to uh, trigger something whenever something occurs on our Wix website. Now, in this case, let's go and select our trigger here. And from here, we want to select Wix. Now, in here, since we've selected Wix, we want to choose our trigger event. So, for example, maybe we want to say uh, we want to basically, uh, maybe I want to say uh, when a someone, or in this case, someone actually uh, has a cart here. So, in this case, triggers when a cart with items abandoned or order is placed. Let's go ahead and select this one. And from here, let's go ahead and basically connect our uh, Wix account. So in this case, typically you have the option here to connect your account. So in this case, you can go ahead and click on the connect option here and just basically log in into your account. Since in this case, I've already added mine, but again, you just need to log in into your Wix account here or choose your website here that you want to use for your uh, that, uh, zip here here but once you've selected that you should be able to connect your account as, a, as you can see right now I've already cre created my account now in this case go and click on continue here and you now need to configure so in this case select the specific trigger to use here so in this case you can change this if you want so I, you could either uh, use a custom value or static value here so if you want to change this to a static one, you can go and choose static value here, either choose order place or check out abandoned. So let's just choose check out abandoned here and let's go and click on continue. That's going to start testing this. So it's going to test the trigger if it actually works. So it will notify you if it actually works. So let's go and click on test trigger to know if it's actually working. And as you can see, it is working here. So in this case, you want to go ahead and basically select a record. So in this case, you could go and click on find new records here and it should start the testing here but in this case you could go ahead and basically test it but in this case once you've tested the connection here you could go ahead and add your action let's go ahead and click on the action at the bottom here now from here since we want to connect this to our shopify let's just type in shopify here so the downside here is in order for you to use shopify here is you need to have a pro plan so in this case, if you really need to, to connect this to uh, platforms here, well, in this case, you need to get a pro flat plan. Because again, well, like, like what I mentioned before, there is a no direct integration that you can use within these two, two platforms, Wix and Shopify, to connect those two platforms. You need to use a third party tool or platform to connect those two platforms. But in this case, since we've selected Shopify here, let's go and select our event here. And we'll let's go and ch uh, choose our action event. So maybe I want to say I want to uh, basically, uh, maybe I want to create or let's just say I want to update a, a customer here. So let's go ahead and choose our Shopify account. Let's go and click on sign in. 
And from here, you want to go ahead and sign in to your account. You want to enter your address here for your Shopify store. Let's go and click on our online store here and let's go and copy our first section here. But once you've copied out, let's go and go back here and let's go and fill out our address. Let's go and click on yes, continue to Shopify. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to confirm. Let's go and click on install on our Shopify here because they need to, or in this case, your Shopify store should have or should install the app on your store. But once you've done that, you should be able to select this one and hit on continue. Now from here, you need to choose uh, the customer itself. So in this case, you can choose your value. So in this case, uh, there are in this case you have the option to add your customers here, add search steps if you want to. So in this case, it actually uh, adds a search step that you dynamically look up values each time you run a zap. So in this case, they, it will actually find customer steps. So connect it to customer field and open it in configuration. So in this case, you go and click on add search step here if you want. So in this case, they will search in uh, a customer first. But if you only want to uh, basically uh, use, or this, let's go and delete this step here. But if you only want to uh, specify a specific customer, you could go ahead and add the ID here yourself. So you could add their first name, their last name, even the address here, and all those details. But once you've added that, you go and click on continue here and start testing it. But yeah, so in this case, uh, you could add your search step here if you want, like what we saw before. You could go and configure that if you want. But in this case, once you configure configure this, you could go and click on publish at the top right here and make sure that's actually turned on. So whenever your Wix website actually has, or in this case, like what we configured here, whenever a checkout is abandoned, it will actually send a signal to Shopify that hey, you should update this customer here. But yeah. So in this case, this, this is one of the way for you to connect your two platforms here because again, uh, the option to connect those two platforms directly does not exist as of this moment. So you need to use a third party application for this one. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.